think, you know, when you want to think of breathing, you only want to think of breathing how much air you can get out of your body. But it's not really the air, it's the carbon that you get out, you know. But air does go in, then it needs filtering system. Unfortunately, you also get a carbon element. So this is why our main function is to breathe out. Now this you know throughout life, even if you walk up the hill, wherever you go, anywhere, you will never feel tired because you know how to handle the air. You will never feel shortness of this. Of course we will feel that because of lack of air, any any other reason. Yeah? So come and have a sit down here. Come come in the front. Come in front. Come in the front. Uh, I'm, I'm now to, going to begin myself first. So let's all sit down, just relax completely, where as you are. I mean, I could, I could sit down, you could sit up, no problem for me. But if I'm sitting on the floor, I know that I'm more relaxed. If I'm sitting on the chair, I'm less relaxed, tell you the truth. And that's because I was born on the floor and I... So if I'm, I'm going to sort of sit there, and I'm going to say breathing, so what we do? What shall we do when we breathe? Yeah, so how do you breathe? And then release it softly. Use that, use, use those fingers and, and just, just allow, allow the pulse to make that. Now I want you to think of something like that. Place your nostril one and just breathe. Take air in the nostril. And it count, you can count up to 3, 12, 6, 12, whatever you can take comfortable place. Then you take it off. Place again. Take it off. Don't worry, air is coming out. Now you do it properly. You can do that. Then you press both. Yeah. Both. Now you open the mouse slightly. Like bubbly. You can have air, which be like a cool air. Now, you are running, you are doing things, and you are tired. So what is the best thing? I came out, I feel that I can still do now. You mean you have reserved 
element. Oxygen is stored in your body. How much blood we have in the body? 17 liters, right? So we think of it now for this angle. Everybody stand up. And now what you have to do is to stretch your arms up and, and just stretch as much as possible. Repel all emptiness. Now, now move your arms like you're rotating it. And now you do bring one arm there. There and again back and all that area. Now I want you to do this in slow motion and I start talking about the lecture now. We start now. Is that right? 11.30? Okay. So now let's let's begin with it. First of all, my name is Ashwin. Ashwin Pandya. My guru is Permanence Yogananda and my other family guru is Sri Abindu many other masters. I am interested in handwriting right for more than 50 years, right for my school days. So I experimented a lot with reading hands of people. I was interested in the education of the hands. So as time passed by, I was more interested in the health area of the hands also. As time passed by, I also thinking of what is karma, why we are on this earth. So I have wanted to find out if there is an interpretation of laws of karma in your hand, yes. Then I want to find out what our relativity is with uh, our other bodies. So there is, we call it spheres of consciousness. That means at night when you sleep, we go in an astral plane, we go in a mental body, we go in a causal body and a divine body. And then, of course, we come back from those levels again, physical levels, and then we are working on our path of karma, which is also in the hands. Now keep your hands open all the time. Look at them while I'm talking to you here. Yeah? Now you will see in the hands the three main lines, which are going from left to right, right to left, on the palmar surface of the hands. And you will see that all these lines are quite strong. And I would say one of them is a lifeline. Now you work out which is a lifeline. You would know that it's one which is semi-circling around here. Then the other one is called the headline, and the third one is called the heart, heart line, right? Then there is a line that also goes right from the root of the hand and it goes right up to the second finger. And there are other lines joining to it, and that is called the karmic path or karmic line. So you are working on your hands on that base. Now you're going to see lots of what you call patterns on your hands which are on all the tip of your fingers, right? Now, there are also your specialistic abilities that you are going to develop and acknowledge it as years and years come by in many, many life cycles. And so it gives you the quality of karma that you can function upon. We also see lots of small lines, you know, which are actually supporting lines, like an intuition line which can go right from that level then there are a lot of lines which are the travel lines, which are the voyage lines and also there are also karmic lines with your connections with the other people, those who are the spirit, they also exist in some of this area. Now again you will see the cards, circles, symbols, you know, triangles, squares, they all represent the, the activity range. Now this activity range is using all your minerals and uses. Now you sit down, keep your hands open, up, and then, then what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, I'm looking around, you know, and then whenever any questions arrive, I will answer your question. Now, the thing is this, that uh, when I'm talking about healing interpretation, which means that what is the best things that you have, which can help you to offset any things that you are overlooked in your life. So this is the purpose of healing interpretation. Second thing, when, when, when I'm interpreting something, I may find sometimes that uh, the person needs a lot of willpower, a lot of strengthening factor, a lot of hearing. So I'm looking for uh, something like 
output is a missing factor. So when I say missing factor, I'm talking about minerals. You know? Now when I'm talking about minerals, I'm really talking about the minerals in your body. Not the jewelry, <laughs> I mean the minerals that run in your body. Now, how they operate? Imagine if you've got a whole body, right? With 72,000 nerve centers running out of it. The Hindus worked that out. How did they work out? Is a mystery. But they did work out. They have 72,000 nerve centers. Right. As time passes by, he also worked out there are 100,000 billion cells. You know, more than that. In fact, as, as the human race is progressing, you see, well, the more and more the mechanical, electrical impulses are coming into the, into the body also. So well, the immune system has to cope with lots of these situations, particularly the mental, nervous, autonomous systems, you know, with all the brain organs, you know. Then also the circulatory, digestive, respiratory, vascular, muscular, genital, urinary systems. All these are very important. So when you're functioning on those all the systems in the area, you are knowing that you need a feedback. You need them to be nourished properly. You need that they should function in a very normal or even excellent manner. And that's where the minerals come. The minerals actually travel inside the hemoglobin structure of your body. For example, iron. Minerals travel in your muscles and fibers and also in the lymphatic fluids and also in the thyroid fluids, in and uh, bone fluids, synovial fluids also. And also, obviously, the cerebrum, you know, the, all the final fluid also. So what happens is this, the element of oxygen is the one that brings life, the breath of fresh air to the minerals, to help it to be absorbed into the bloodstream, to be utilized to the sink, and then the signaling system begins, which actually sends appropriate messages to the appropriate channels or vibrations or frequencies which are continuously perpetually functioning and into an entire range of the whole physical system controlled by the mind solar plexus, you know, and also obviously the soul which is also a part of your own periphery which actually takes you into all these areas, right? So now you're functioning on those areas. So you're going to deal with you have strength, you have precious soul. So you're going to encounter impurities of the body. But this is where minerals will help you. They will give you system first class. They will help you to resist. They will help you to fight. Whether it's virus, whether it's bacteria, whether it's anything, you can handle it. Not only that, but you can also strengthen your physical system for asthmatic purposes, like you can make your breathing stronger, then your lungs are stronger, so you can deal with it. For any back pains or anything like that, obviously you are going to work into the chakra system. Now, if we, we know very well, most of us have all the chakras, how they function. So when, when the chakras are functioning, you know, with their respective merits, starting from the base chakra to the second chakra, that's called the second chakra, which is the water balance in your body, then the third chakra, which is what gives it in memories of your past karma, everything, as well as your present constitutional factors. And there you are controlling all your breathing area, going to the third chakra, then fifth chakra, dealing with your emotions, dealing with your whole uh, what you, total fulcrum of your whole entire state of the body and then you are going into the crown center of course you are dealing with your neck center also and then there are seven eight and nine in fact there are nine chakra elements but the three are not visible the six are uh, you can feel it other three are evolved and it's helping us with our understanding of the entire universal phenomena now having said so now, if you have asthma, if you have a diabetes, if you have a cancer, is there a possibility that you can control it? Is there even a possibility that you can completely deal with it and reduce it? People can live, whether they can have cancer at the age of 50, they can live right now, 80, and they can control it. So where does you draw the line? Do you have to have take medicines out of the fear of necessity? because you have that particular situation. I personally don't think it's necessary. I'm not against it, but I'm saying that if, if it is possible within us to
take minerals. But how would you take minerals? Minerals you're going to take is there is a condition of works. You cannot fool the immune system. It is ridiculous. People dishing out these tablets and all these things, giving you minerals, take calcium, take minerals. They're not telling you that what you're eating, what you're not eating. They're telling you take this, will give you get your energy back. That's ridiculous. You cannot get that. It's the only way you can deal with this is you have to take minerals from all known vegetarian sources. So if you're taking minerals and if you're taking minerals from foods, then you don't need tablets. Fair enough. If you want to take a tablet and you want to also take minerals from the food, I say, okay, go ahead. But as long as you don't eat non-vegetarian food, meat, fish, eggs, and food also even alcohol is not vegetarian. So you have to think from all these angles. Now once you decided that, then the immune system is really dealing with the bad cells, the cancer cells, everything that exists in the body. So that's part of the process. Now karma, there are three kinds of karma. Cumulative karma, what you call the quality of karma and quantity of karma. Now we come in our body, we choose our family according to a basic past karma. So we are going in an Akashic record hour. Now Akashic record is every individual is connected to the universe, but every individual has got an own individual soul connection. And that connection is so profound that when you are functioning in your Akashic level, you not only understand about yourself as you are existing on this earth, but you also understand what you could have been doing or where all your energies come from. So this way we can work out and understand of the other cultures and civilizations because you may have navigated in all those cultures and civilizations. So that's all. Open the hands now and I want you to ask me questions. Come, you can either come up, come near me, uh, around me, just like that. And uh, we say that uh, anything you want to ask with the hands, you can ask questions. Yeah? Now, as we look into the hands of all this area, now, see, I can see your lines of everything in that area. Now, so, naturally, I'm seeing something. Anything unusual I see, I immediately will tell you. Yes, uh, that's a very, very good connection here. This line, little, that's right. Uh -huh. Yes, now. What are squares of rainbows which are your protection, which actually can help you. You can really have something done very systematical or methodical in your previous existence. That's why you would probably will have that sort of formation. So now it becomes a number, stage number two, plan B, what you want. In this, that's how So ask me any questions. Both ends, yes, yes. Bigger, let me say, say to you, the, there are two hemispheres of the brain, right in the lab, divided by corpus colors. Now, all those hemispheres have got automatic cortex, cortex which are running through both parts of the body. So, obviously, the cerebral and cerebellum function of the brain can be also divided. One can relate to a lot on the logical analytical function. Other than relate not to you know, the emotion sides of it and what for the but more more the gentle nature of it, or artistic side of it. But both to me are equal. Maybe sometimes opposite, but to me they both can coincide. And once you coincide with this area, you are no problem. I mean I use both hands, I play musical instruments in both hands, but I am supposed to be left handed, but my right hand is also good. So it all depends. Does it tend to work in one side? Yeah. So that hand is that side yeah. of the brain or does it cross over? Yeah, it crosses over. Because you are working on this, you are working on this side, that part of the brain will be very active. You are working on this side, that part of the brain will be very active. But the question is this that if you are swimming or if you are doing yoga or if you are doing something, they have got a relativity which actually incorporates both of them. So there is no problem as far as that part is concerned. Other thing is this, that uh, you can prevent even a stroke. And let's imagine you are now 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. You would know 
that you are not using certain part of your body. That's your alarm bell. That's when you start thinking what to do. So you have to start using both parts. You have more emphasis on one hand. Sometimes some people feel, oh, I can use this hand. So they forget about that hand. They don't want to use it because they are used to condition. So you have to learn how to do it. You do that. That will not cost you. Ask any questions. Anything you want to know? Uh, you massage the fingers like you have reflexology and yes. massage the feet? All, all, so all, all, the all, fingers. all, all, all the centers, all the body parts yeah. are manifested. Reflex zones are manifested. That middle part is your solar plexus. And that is the one that will relax. If you know what solar plexus does, it controls the breathing. But what is better than solar plexus? Can anybody tell me? Think of it. What's better than solar plexus? What is it that controls solar plexus? Right. Meditation. Go ahead. Calm anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, remember I was showing you the breathing through the diaphragm? Remember I was showing you the Ghara center, which is called the second chakra? Just a little bit space between that. And that is actually the strength of your entire body. Put it that way. Because that is controls the solar plexus. Solar plexus, this is a mind. What is mind? It's around you. It's not part of you. You just accept it as it as it is around you. And so people can be successful, people can be happy, people can be rich, people can be beautiful, handsome, everything. But what is more important is the mind. If they don't have a control of the mind, all that doesn't work. Because if mind tells you you want to do this thing. But what is higher than mind? Next, next question. Can answer anybody? What's higher than mind? My soul. Soul, yeah. All right. I'll tell you what's higher than mind. It's intellect. The intellect is not whether somebody says to you, oh, he's very intellectual. That's not intellect. Intellect is something that distinguishes exactly what is right and wrong. You know the difference between the two. And also, it is totally neutral. And it's above the mind. So when you're above the mind, what happens? You do not get affected by your mind. Your mind say, I want to do this, I want to do this. And immediately, your other self, one big self and small self, they will say, Ashwin, what are you doing? What, what, what's this? Immediately, that one Ashwin will go to the other Ashwin telling, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? So that, that's where the intellect comes. The intellect is sharp. It's like a sharp knife. You know? It can penetrate through anything. And that is what it is, like a laser. And that's why if you have an intellect, then you are safe. So what is it that you do? If you take magnesium, iron, and potassium, you build up your brain strength. If you take iodine, you know, or phosphorus, and uh, what you call the zinc and sulfur, not only you protect your, your emotional areas, but you can fight infection. Now, if you look into it, foods like uh, apples and carrots and spinach, you know, they represent iron, right? Of all the foods. Or if you look at iodine like ginger, garlic, green chili, green pepper. Now, if you eat daily garlic and ginger or green chili or something, you would not suffer from diabetic problems. Because that is why. If you have a skin rash, it's all problems. The zinc would also. I've just been told I've got light. Oh, no, white Sorry? Blood cells. I've got no white blood cell count. So no. White blood, blood count. Yeah. Well, I can see some paleness in your hands here, which means the circulation element. Which means what you need is to eat lots and lots of salads, you know. So you need a sodium and calcium to give you a pH balance, which is called the blood balance. Now, there are there are things, you can always look in internet, now everything is available. What is the best sodium level? You find out from the internet and then then you, you know that what is happening to you. Now what about this? White corpuscles and red corpuscles. What about people who suffer from leukemia, blood cancer? What can you do? What are you going to do? I will tell them I have to deal with the situation. 
completely go vegetarian, start eating fresh salads, start eating the foods that can form, formulate the blood cells in your body. On, 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 in the, I wouldn't say past, but say at any stage of the life, you know, you are a blood donor, you are helping with that also the blood count. Your blood becomes covered and now the six months certain blood goes away. Within the six months, the whole formation of the blood will come back into your system. It has happened to me for ten years when I used to be blood donor. So you do not lose anything. You see, that's how the system works. And if anybody wants to. My immune system is quite right? My immune system is quite low. Yeah, immune system, in order to make immune system, you have to purify what you eat exactly. I was earlier telling the people that when you when you want to concentrate on the mineral intake in your body, whether you take iron, potassium, calcium, water, sulfur, zinc, you know, what you have to do, you have to eat it from only vegetarian source. So once the purity clears out, toxicity clears out, then the immune system will work very effectively. Organic foods, yes, no problem. Can you see the lack of noise? Yeah, yes, I would say. Because when, when I see those lines here, they show a lot of tension. You see? And that tension element. Uh, what is your what is your date of birth? Uh, 29 of December. What year? 62. Right. So you see, now you are about 40. Yeah, 40. Yeah, you see that? You got a double to heart cycle. There is a lot of, lot of emotional factor that you have to work. It's a very controversial emotion. That means you lose out with your emotions. You're not getting back your emotions back. You sometimes use more emotions in dealing with your situation. But you want to use emotion like you're using this. You know how you, how you channel the music. Yeah. So this is what you have to work. And, and obviously, Iodine and iron combination. Now, earlier I mentioned to you, iron is in all the what you call the, let's say the aubergines, tomatoes, you know, and uh, carrots and apples, while iodine um, and beetroot, mushrooms, you know, avocado, that combination. And Maria, which was one of the questions? My lines seem very shallow. No, not sure. Yeah, yeah. So I'm in my first life. <laughs> I, I, actually, they are not shallow. What is it? They are quite strong, they are definite, but they are not young. This means that not so many lives. Yeah, this means you don't you don't grow old quickly. Your physical cycle. In other words, there are many things that you start learning uh, later than only. So obviously, but it needs a build up. When I say build up, it means it needs more like strengthening factors, like exercising. But for example, if you regularly do yoga or swimming or something, then your appetite will become better and then the lines will feel will feel set more. Yes? You are a hard working person but you got you got you you got you got to deal with your physical system, which I call the back area, you know, and of course you need exercising and of course you need uh, what you call uh, really some posturing also. So the way you sleep or something. Maybe either you're not sleeping properly or either you're not sleeping enough. You know? So you you need a lot of build up of you know to enjoy calcium and zinc and salt, like rich foods. So you feel happy, cheerful. Anybody? When there are so many vehicles uh, in the past, uh, I have uh, always had so many vehicles even when I was a child. Whenever you have so many lines. Lines. Yeah. Now this is you have a, you got a, you got a lot of sensitivity, a lot of strong sensitivity, and of course you think a lot ahead of the situation. So obviously to cut out from those areas, you need magnesium and potassium because the magnesium will control your 
the mental element, you know, the electricity, it will give the electricity and the potassium will clear up a lot of any fabric lap Anybody else? Yeah, yeah, I was looking for one, somebody came. One person came. Now, this lady can do fantastic things if she wants to. She has got a lot of strength. She has got control element, which means she can control. Now, if she is good in something, she can be very good at that. If she is in control of situation, she can be in a very good condition. And and I'll, I'll say that uh, she will, she can, she can. If, if she knew any kind of mechanical factors, she can drive anything. Means she can play or.